Select a movie for tonight. Dark ah, food. Fugitive. Christmas dish. You never put on a cop for Christmas. Tell it. Oh, wow, that is just bad, isn't it? This is meant to be a get ready with me. I will do the get ready portion in a second because that's bad. Oh, I should say this one is insane. It's like a Christmas. Muscat. If you watch my summer vlogs, you'll know that like we love, love muscat. It's like a very sweet white wine. Oh, it's in, it smells insane. And um, I've already had a glass in a bit because it's so nice. It's fine, I haven't let into the microphone I've gone moist yet. Um, hello everyone, welcome to a Christmas vlog. My, my skin is doing better, I promise. It doesn't, look it, we'll get into that in a second. Welcome to a Christmas vlog. I hadn't lost my mind in anything Christmas content wise because I'm not feeling it, but it feels weird not to do something, so. We're gonna watch this face get considerably better. Just what is this? Let's go put the makeup on. Yay! Oh, bloody, almost died. Oh, I will also give book update in a second. You know what? Let me change tops before I smear makeup all over this jumper. One, two. I feel like a princess. Very 18th C. Ooh, what have I done? Literally, this is like the chocolate side of my face. Well, what a... Why? Why today? I keep drawing attention to it. I'm sure you wouldn't notice if I didn't draw attention to it, but I can't help myself. It's like a disease. That the need to draw attention to it, not the thing on my face. But clarify that. I'm just going to keep it like super easy makeup wise. I think I'm going to go like hella red with the lipstick though. It's one of these mini market Oh, it's so cute. I have this Laura Mercier mascara. I don't like it very much. Like I can't wait till it like dries out and I need like a better one. It's just, it imprints. I don't like it. I just don't think it's got as much of a curl to it. That's kind of been a shame. I always find it annoying when like you try and like break out like, not like a rut, but like I always buy the dual ones like religiously. And I was like, I'm gonna try something new. And then like you're disappointed. So then you retreat back into your like, you'll have it. It's a silly book. <laughs> one of those things. How have all your Christmas been? I'm gonna try and do a quick turnaround of this video, which means I could say hello to so many new of you. Um, I posted a favourite bookshop tour video and like so many of you watched it, there are so many new people here. Hello, it's very exciting. I recently hit 29,000. My goal for the end of the year was 30k. So we are sneaking up on that very, very quickly, which is so exciting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get that by the end of the year, but boy oh boy, oh, we're gonna get close. Face as good news. I think my forehead, okay, with the exception of this thing on my face, I think my forehead is getting a lot better. For those of you who don't know, I've been on the pill for like, what, seven years? Came off it, I've gone on the coil. So the coil broke me out all down here, which was like really, really fun. But I think my body's starting to like chill the F out now. Um, so this is like calming down, which is nice. And then like this is starting to like go away. I've had like spots here for like ever, and I'm noticing it the last like couple weeks is it's starting to die down. So that is super duper exciting. So I'm like, oh my God, is this finally gonna go away? Am I gonna stop looking like a teenager now? That would be really, really great. I can start looking like an old woman as I do when I pull my eyebrows and oh, because of when I do my mascara and my, and my eyebrows. Okay, hold please. I can't talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. Hello, we're awake. Also, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I'm still hunting for a good moisturizer. I will like put up here. 
many of the suggestions that you guys had, but if you do, if you want to contribute, I'd be more than, I'd be very happy to hear your suggestions. Basically, I have combo skin, which means you have an oily T-zone, and then you have like a dry skin. So it's a really fun combo, because it's hard to get something that like hits the right balance. I must finish with my moisturizer, which is annoying, but she's expensive, so I don't want to buy her again. So I'm like, oh, I have to try something else. Because I have a Clinique moisture search for ages, but like basically the best thing to do is buy in the airport, because then you can buy like two, and it was so much cheaper than to just buy like, one and then another one, so then I just it. Now I can't, that's a top tip. Um, what else are we doing face wise? I think the main thing that I want to do is obviously is for red on red, so I'm gonna wear red lipstick. I'm not putting face, face moisturizer, face moisturizer that is not. I use BB cream, I'm gonna use that now. <laughs> what am I gonna use? Ah, oh, concealer, my old friend. Oh. This is definitely what everyone who subscribed from that booktop video was hitting for. I love makeup, it's just one of these super fun things. I love my blush here, I swear. I don't need blush that much because I do go quite red. It's the reason I never want to overdo that, but. And it makes you look back alive, which is always nice. I'm kind of going for a Snow White vibe. Love, 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 love the top. <laughs> Can't go wrong with nose highlight. Can't go wrong with nose highlight. Cool. That was my makeup done. These tiny ones are so easy to destroy the only downside. I should super do my full size, it is. I can still see that stupid spot, which is really, really irritating. But the lip colour is in my face. And honestly, like, these are just like, kind of nice high-end like, lipstick. Be, you can't go wrong with the Marc Jacob ones. They are super duper worth it. Oh, I've just wiped it all over my face, haven't I? Just big Whoosh. I had my skirt to wear with this, but I think I've just kind of gone with black jeans. I think it's probably gonna work better for now. Outfit wise, this is what we are vibing. Woohoo! And it's black jeans, which may still have mud on it because we went on a walk. We did a family walk earlier. <laughs> Oh my god. This is my first present from my mum. Basically she has these, so she bought me my own because I kept stealing hers. Well, oh yes, let's talk about this, talk about this, talk about these guys. Oh, so, I have three piles in front of me. This is a pile from my bookshelf over there that I actually want to take back with me to London. We have Dostoevsky, Henry James, Betty, Oscar Wilde, Pushkin, Pushkin, sorry, Orwell, and the dude who wrote Lolita. This is the stuff I'm taking back to London with me. These two are two of the ones I've already read just the last like couple days. I finished using Sontag regarding the pain of others. I finished reading Henry Miller's The World of Sex. I started reading this when I was initially like, what, 16, 17? That's too young to read this. Not in terms of it like being, what, well, not PG at all, but more just in terms of like, understanding that there is a philosophical side to sex and stuff like that so like i think you do need to be older to understand this just in terms of maturity not necessarily in terms of like how much sex you have or haven't had and then this pile is like a lot of stuff these are my glasses i have a whole video on my glasses it's up there i'm um, also my good readers of course linked below but i will it's on screen just, of course link below and then these are ones that i still want to read i've read half of sard's justine you finish that i want to read frederick the great i want to read Yates, A Good School, and then it's um, Lawrence Stern, A Sentimental Journey, because they're not very long. And obviously my Goodreads, my Goodreads, oh, I've read two um, Avatar Lost Airbender comics. Actually, no, I've read three of them, but two the last couple of days, because they're so, so good. I really, really enjoy them. Um, and it's funny because of the first, like, book, so there's, like, three comics in a book. It's, like, super, super good. And it's funny how they tackle, like, post colonialism and cultural appropriation, but, like, still, like, at a, not, not, like, at a kid's level, because like these things are so more complex, but like in a way that is still accessible for like younger people and kids to like start thinking about these things and thinking about these like conversations, which I think is really interesting. That show has a strong moral compass, so like that translates kind of really well in the comic books. But yeah, this is kind of like my reading brain at the moment. My target that I set for 2019, book-wise on Goodreads, was 
was to read 15 books, I have read 14. So if I'm gonna finish Brideshead Revisited, which is downstairs waiting for me, and that will be, I've got like 80, no, I've got like 100, maybe 150 pages left of that. So I'm gonna read that before the end of the year. So I'll go out with a bang. Yeah, so that's like my reading sort of set, like lineup, if you will. I will, of course, of course, of course, I will do a what I read in 2019. Um, I will link what I read in 2018 because that went down really well with you guys. And apparently you come to me for book content, which flatters the dislikes in me, of course, enormously. I've been thinking about doing like a 24 hour readathon at some point, like I will do that because I just want you to understand how slowly a dyslexic reads, but then me being a dyslexic then with like the what footnote of like, I did a degree in literature. I love, love, love books. I am also supposedly smart. I have an IQ of 145, if that means anything to you. So then to you understand, like, if it takes me this long, it takes other people. Like, I just want you to understand that, like, it's not like because you're lazy or because they don't care or because they're stupid. It's just because you can't and it's hard. But these help. Yeah, cool. That's my, is that my book update for you at the moment. Yes, yes, it is. And you should definitely, definitely go check me out on Goodreads. Um, I'm going to do my best to actually write a little review. But yeah, I'm so chuffed right now with my outfit and my makeup and my books and my Christmas presents. What did my mum get me? I mean, and dad, obviously, of course. These slippers, because I kept stealing them from my mother. And I got socks. <laughs> I, I'm so happy at my age where, like, getting slippers and socks actually makes me really happy. Ooh, and I got a book from my mother, which is by Letters of Madame... It's, oof, shit, what's her name? Savigny? Sav Savigny? Oh, I've got to ask my mother what the name of the woman is. Hold, please. <laughs> Mummy, what's the name of the woman whose book you gave me the letters? Madame de Sévigné. Say it, say it with Emma because Emma can't do it. Sévigné. Madame de Sévigné. Madame de Sévigné. Sévigné. And she, what is, the, what is the book, Mummy? She writes to her daughter. It's her real correspondence to her real daughter. It's not made up, guys. It's not. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just real. And she writes beautifully. And she's from Louis the Fourteenth court, right? Does she do both? Yeah, so it's the uh, Ash classic. Oh, yeah, so it's the 17th century. I recognised her like name. I read Nancy Mitford's biography on uh, Louis the 14th, so I felt you guys might see this. Me, 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 me. Right, oh, I'm gonna be here for that. So, what did Gordon Ramsay say? Rest as long as it's in, but that was about lamb. These are ducks. Uh, it's about I wish you tucked me in this lovingly. Insulation. So that is a hundred percent a joke I made last year. This is the most important bit. Bloody golden and crunchy. Not yet. Oh, um, not yet. But they're in the goose fat. They're getting there. Yeah. They're Blanket to see everyone, sorry to disappoint. Oh. Also, if you're wondering, gosh, those look like very small turkeys. Oh, you have duck, not turkey. Ooh, ooh. It's just meant to be gravy. Yeah. Oh, no, I can put the potatoes right here. <laughs> oh, where does Emma sit? Right there. Adam and I look very refined and like very nice. You just kind of look a bit like you've got that at a charity shop and just put it on. Which is kind of half true. <laughs> Bye, Lou. Oh, no. Oh, oh friends. How long until this becomes a show of dominance? <laughs> Almost immediately. <laughs> Does anyone want potatoes? Give them to me. You want potatoes? Uncle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Adam. Oh my god. 
Oh, Adam. I hope it's nice because that would be really annoying. Adam can come out with some. Oh yeah. It's so. This is definitely a good year of Christmas dinner. Yeah, the piggy wiggy. That's a plumey. Uh. Why is this? So oh, oh, me uh, sit my fingers. Oh, oh, ten. Oh, ten. I get two. What do you want? Have you been defeated, Louis? Defeated by Louis accent. Okay. No, we're not doing Christmas in France. No, we are. No. Mum and I just, we were re-watching my vlog from last year until my phone died. And this is the PSA to us for next year. You did the duck. In the cas in the big in the big casserole pot thingy, mm -hmm. not in there, mm -hmm. in the casserole thingy, and yeah, then you so pad it in the pan as well. Okay. This is a PSA to us. Yeah. Oh, I love you. It's such a cute emoji. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> like that is a Timothy though. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing it back. Oh, So this is the book my mummy got me for Christmas. A very Madame Sévigny. De Sévigny. De Sévigny. De Sévigny uh... Which child am I? I'm excited with the letters. Um, so let's see how this goes. Then the other things I read were the two last comics in this first book of Avatar. Last Airbender, honestly. If you guys have watched the series, I highly, and like that when it ended, I highly, 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 highly recommend this. This series is on Netflix. I know they're trying to reboot it with like a live action version, which is apparently not as gonna be as bad as the film because the actual like TV series is being done by the guys who made like the original series. So they had nothing to do with the film, which is why it's bad. Different tastes, but all tastes are good. You don't need to be pretentious and not want to do one because you prefer the other. Just read everything. Also look at my socks. My socks are so good. Oh, that's a very good point, Mummy. The vlog has not seen the tree. So the tree has moved. Oh, I haven't really seen it from this angle. Mm, from this angle, it's super duper nice. Yeah. It's over there last year. It's here this year. That's This I'm gonna read now. I won't need my glasses. And this lighting is actually quite flattering. It's family photo time, Louis. So this is the five minute countdown for if you wanna do your hair. Dad, if you wanna look less like Steve Jobs, this is the moment. It's family photo time. I need books, I need books, otherwise this isn't gonna work. Wonderful. Do you want a bit more height? Probably. Oh, we're sitting in that one now. Well, yeah, the tree's here. But that one, we stood behind it, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, the problem is, obviously, now. that you made us move the tree. Yeah. Mm. This is what we've got to work with now. To get the same perspective as you do with that, you have to actually move the... here. You're a professional photographer. Better than you. Uh, Apologise. <laughs> never, never! First the picture, and then we have to have a Ah, oh, we're ready! In my artistic view, I think we have to do it in the same state of my heart to Do you want us to move the entire Christmas tree, Adam? No! It's not very difficult, you just slide it along. Sit your little ass down. Oh. Uh, so what do we do? Photo, like this. What do we do? You, you smile, you look and you smile! I'm going oh, to the centre because I'm the most important. I'm going to meet in the centre. Where am I sitting? You go right at the edge. Yeah, you go sit at the end of the I'm sofa. I'm not in it. We yeah. have to be very cosy, yeah. so. I am. I am. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, oh. Whose hand is that? <laughs> Mine. Ah, Right, so okay. Fun. We need it. We need it. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Sit on your foot. Ah. Uh, Louis, I hate to break the suit. Your head that isn't on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I'm on the photo. <laughs> no, nah, I didn't see that the front. <laughs> To 
it's hard because I am the authority. <laughs> But they don't respect the authority, which means I have no authority, which is just like <laughs> Let me take the fucking family photo. And if I post one on which you don't look good, that's then not a me problem then, that's a you problem. I want my tiramisu! If you can't behave, I can't help you. I'm just digging the... I like the necklaces and the neckline and the lipstick. And they want to see the photos. I refuse to show them. If they don't cooperate, I won't cooperate. <laughs> no, didn't do it. Oh, you really do forked not. it, Mum. Yeah. Get it. Do 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 so do. <laughs> you really forked it. You really forked it. I don't know what it means, I forked it. Like you it. fucked it, but it's with a fork. Okay. Ah, come on, that wasn't that much of a job. <laughs> she hates me. <laughs> What'd you say? I hope you guys have had a lovely, lovely Christmas. I have really enjoyed, I really enjoyed this look. Actually, I will more than 100% wear the skin. My words in my New Year's video, like resolutions video. I'm so excited for those. <laughs> we had we did a walk this morning, as well. Um, really enjoyed it because like I also like run like the walk we did. I also like run it. I've started running again, which has been like weird. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> I was good at cross country when I was younger, and then I just hated it because I was like made to run it, and I never enjoyed it. So I enjoyed winning, but I didn't enjoy having to like do any of the running. So I'm like doing the running again as a resolution to like leave me. I feel like I look vaguely renaissance. I really, really like this top and these necklaces. I nicked this one off my mom. <laughs> I should probably give it back, but it was really cute. I'm gonna make a video on like resolutions there and like how you keep them and stuff because I, I don't know, they really work for me as a person so I'm gonna like excited to make a video about that. I'm so happy with my book. My white book. I'm like yes. And the slippers. The slippers are really comfy. They're clocks. They're really comfy. <laughs> so yeah. I'm doing it on running every other day, which is like, I've actually done it. I'm very really excited. Like, oh my god. And like, I ran it again and I chopped an entire minute of my run time. So I'm like, trying to get my pace under six minutes next time I do it. That would make me really, really happy. Hmm. Do I dig up cross country photos of me? I was meant to dig them up anyway. But here they are. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a lovely Christmas. I'm looking forward to New Year's now. It is my favorite, favorite, like, huh, I don't know, I just love New Year's. Some people don't understand, but like, I love New Year's and I love resolutions and you can say what it's overrated, but I freaking love it. I really enjoy it. And you guys making 2020 resolutions as well. So this is your reminder to start thinking about your resolutions. De -de 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 -de. I mean, face, we really enjoyed Christmas. I think we were just all as a family needed like a low key chill one and that we have now had. We only put the tree up a few days ago. <laughs> we're not doing very well on the Christmas front this year. We were like, what well, do we have to do this? But yeah, that is everything. It felt weird not to do Christmas things. Like subscribe and all my jazz, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.